So it's been about four years since I made a video on how exactly I make these clutches and I've actually did a few improvements since that video so I decided to revisit the idea of it. So this option I actually like the best is basically you take your factory clutch bracket that this goes on the side of the engine I guess like that and then your clutch pivots right here. So what I've actually did is I actually have these bent pieces of metal and I was going to drill a hole in there and then the clutch was going to pivot on there like this one. Uh, but what you can do if you have this part is just cut it somewhere around here and then just weld that on the top of the battery tray and then you can keep your battery tray also and then uh, you just have this under there you can keep that bearing that's in here and it basically works the same as it should or it's basically making it like an ST16 style battery tray. And you can see a little bit more on this one on how exactly that would work. So I haven't tested this one yet, but this is just showing you a little bit of a concept on it. Um, the other option, if you don't have a welder, is this right here. So basically you drill two holes down in the frame and you just take the clutch like this and you bolt it on. The only thing is, is if your brakes aren't adjusted just right, it'll actually not go far enough or it'll go too far. And then with this concept, you basically have to hook your spring to the dash, which I don't really recommend. Unless you get a different spring, then you can hook it down here. Um, so basically, I, I recommend doing this a lot more than this. Um, the other option is if you don't have a clutch, um, like someone before you took the clutch out and now you don't have it is first option what you could do is basically cut a piece of metal out and make it exactly like this so basically copy the factory style and then weld the bracket on like that or you can do this where you take a flat piece of metal And put a bolt through the middle, have a spring going to the side frame right here, have that go down. And you can put a pulley on here with a bent piece of metal that goes as like that so you can easily push the clutch in. And then of course it'll just go like that. You bolt it on the side of the frame with those two bolts and that bolt in the middle would go to the piece of metal with a spacer there so it can pivot just like it should but that's really only if you don't have all the parts for it and then another option and this is like my last option basically is you could take the battery tray from an SS16 and basically drill new holes in the frame and put this in there um, which will give you quite a bit more room um, or you could also just remake the battery tray by just getting a piece of metal, welding it onto the frame, and then basically doing the same thing as those other pieces. And then uh, your clutch would pivot just like it should. So what you could do is you could make a piece of metal that is the same width as the original battery tray. Uh, weld, weld this to it like that. And then you can either weld it or bolt it on right here which will give you quite a bit more room for a Predator 212 or 420 gas tank and that will fit no problem or with this setup like that you would have to use the factory Sears gas tank which a lot of times they're either missing or they're too rusty to reuse so yeah that's exactly on how I do that and thanks for watching